Here we are in chapter review, chapter four, review one, and we're going to evaluate the polynomials. That means we're just going to stick these in where they go. So we stick in five, five squared minus three times five plus two, that's twenty-five minus fifteen plus two. Twenty-five minus fifteen, that's ten, plus two is twelve. There we go. Number eleven x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x for x is a negative 3. So we're going to stick that in and have negative 3 to the third power plus 2 times a negative 3 squared. Now that squared only goes on the negative 3. That's important to note. Plus minus 4 times a negative 3. So negative 3 cubed is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 gives us a negative 27. However, over here, negative 3 squared is a positive 9. That's negative 3 times negative 3. Gives you a plus 9, so that's 2 times 9, which is 18. We could write down 18 there. And then here, we could have a plus 12. So here we have negative 27 plus 18 plus 12, and that ends up being Three. Number 12, here we're going to add or subtract the polynomials. So if we're adding, we just combine like terms. Here we have a negative 3y squared and a y squared. Put those two together and you get a negative 2y squared. Uh, we have a 7 and a negative 6, that gives us a plus 1. And then we, have, uh, we haven't done anything with that 2y yet. We can't combine any of these together because none of them are like terms. But it does say to write the answer in descending order. So we'd have to write negative 2y squared, it has the highest power, plus 2y, it has the next highest power, and then plus 1, that has no variables at all. Number 13, and this is plus. Now that we know we have to do that, let's try to keep them in order. 4x cubed, uh, there's no x cubed to add to that. Then a 3x squared and an x squared, that gives us 4x squared. Now do we have any x's? Yep, right there, an x, and a minus x. Oh gone. Those guys don't do anything. And then we have minus 1 and positive 5. So that's a plus 4. And there we have it. Hey, number 14. This is subtraction, which means we have to jump that in first. Plus j squared minus 4j minus j to the fourth. So let's put these together. We have a 3j to the fourth and a minus j to the fourth. That's 2j to the fourth. Uh, here's a 2j squared and a 3j squared. Since we're doing it in descending order, we might as well pick them up in that order. Uh, j squared and a plus, so that's plus 3j squared. And then a minus j and a minus 4j is a minus 5j. Good. Number 15. We're going to jump that negative in, so we get plus 12p squared plus 5p minus 4. So let's look at the, let me see, p squared's the biggest ones we've got as far as degree. So that's going to be 3p squared. Uh, negative 3p plus 5p, that's a plus 2p. And then the minus 4. Good.